Yes, class. Am I audible to you? Austin, Shahid, Humam. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, one thing I wanted to discuss with you was last class diagnostic test, which you all gave. So, uh, yes, Shahid has five on five. Austin has three on five. Who else is there? Humam. Humam has two on five and Tarif has three on five. All right, class. See, in this, spherical capacitor and energy stored basically came. Look here, first question was easy. All of you were able to attempt it where you had to write down the formulas of all the energies. So what are all the energies that are available to you? See, half CV square, that is also correct. Half Q square by C, that is also right. And half Q into V, that is also fine. This we had seen in assertion and reasoning. C class, both the statements were true. I hope you have the PDFs with you. So if you do not have, take the PDF. So... Assertion and reasoning both were correct, but it was that, see, assertion said that energy stored in a capacitor is proportional to square of potential. So obviously we know half C V square is the formula. So energy is directly proportional to square of potential. And uh, since we haven't discussed discharging and charging, when we discuss that second part is also part of that. When capacitor is charged, 50% of total work done on it is dissipated as heat while remaining energy is stored as electric potential energy. So this is also correct. The problem is that why is V square proportional to energy? This is not the reason. Since 50% of energy is getting stored or getting dissipated as heat and 50% is getting stored within the capacitor. That's why we are having V square proportional to electric uh, the energy. That is not correct. So that's why B option will be right where A, as there's and reasoning both are correct, but reasoning is not the correct explanation of it. Calculation, C, capacitance is given, uh, potential is given, so half CV square, you'll get the energy. So I hope third question shouldn't be wrong by all of you. At least first and third were very easy. C class, fourth question. This says that the capacity and the energy stored in a parallel plate capacitor condenser with air between its plates are C0 and W0. See, if dielectric slab is inserted, capacitance always increases to K times. We have seen, no, when we had seen that capacitance in air was whatever was the value. In any other medium, it became k times so here also it would get multiplied to 5 if c naught is the initial value this will become 5 c naught fine so c prime this would be either a option or b option that would be decided by work done so energy stored c class energy stored will get divided what all formulas you have you have half cv square right you have uh Q square by 2C, here it was given also, I think Q square by 2C is the formula that you are going to use because charge was mentioned and capacitance, the mentioning of these were given. So see, capacitance is coming in the denominator. This topic, I'll take it today as well. In detail, we'll see whenever we have uh, batteries connected, disconnected, what happens to capacitance, what happens to all this field. So Q square by 2C is the formula. So see, if capacitance increases by K times, so overall energy decreases by K times. So you have W not divided by five. That's why B option should be correct here. And last question, C class, last question, energy density. Didn't we study energy density in the last class only? Formula was half epsilon naught E squared. See, this is for air. Whenever you have epsilon naught, permittivity is given. Epsilon naught is mentioned. That means this is for air only. As soon as this becomes, uh, this goes into any other medium, you have some other medium. So instead of epsilon, we use K epsilon naught. This I have been telling you since we were doing Coulomb's law. From Coulomb's law, this I have been repeating. K times, K epsilon naught could become. So what would happen to energy density? It would increase K times. So C option should be correct, increasing K times. So I hope uh, all of you have attempted the class assessment. It good. It's good. But uh, at least 
three was minimum three four you could have scored it was just in assertion reasoning something is first tricky where you could have loosened your marks rest of questions we have all had discussion so any doubt from the last class i hope this is clear shavez yes shavez i wanted to ask you in the last class assessment you have just uh, got fourth answer correct this one which you were discussing five times c and w not by five yes shavez any issue in the last class why only one question was right you are able to answer in the class you answer all the questions very well you clear your doubts also so what happened shavez the formula first question was formula based question that should have been corrected by all of you half cv square all these formulas we have discussed so first question should have been correct this also i have discussed so many times when you have an error it is epsilon not when anything gets uh inserted by dielectric medium it becomes k epsilon not that only you had to answer shavez you present in the class shavez ali yes i am yes i am yes shavez what happened only fourth no, part, part was right hmm Attempt it again, Shavish. Take this PDF again from me. Attempt all these questions because these questions are easy. This was a uh, not a very difficult class assessment. Some of the assessments have been difficult where advanced questions are also difficult. Here the advanced question was also not difficult. So why only fourth one is correct? Last part also you could have answered. First part minimum three. All of you should have scored. Austin has second and fifth wrong. Rest were correct. So only Shahid has scored five on five. Faiza three on five. Rabia four on five. Tarif three on five. All right. Shahid and Huma, if you have any doubts from the last class, let me know. Shahid, everything is clear, no? Yes, sir. Fine. So if you need any help, let me know, Shahid. If from any uh, any topic from the last class, energy or spherical capacitor, this isn't clear. Let me know. I'll clarify. So in the last class, we had started with this spherical capacitors. We had seen the formula of spherical capacitors: four pi epsilon naught r one r two divided by r two minus r one. Now from the energy, we had seen these three formula: half q square by c. Half C V square, half Q V. All of these formulas you should remember. This is the main formula that you obtain whenever you have to show the derivation part. Write it till here. All right. This we had seen. Yes, force can come separately also. Minus Q square by two epsilon naught. This can come separately as well. And apart from this, you had energy density. This formula also you have to remember. Half E square into epsilon. This formula also you should remember. Now the next topic is sharing of capacitors. Now what is meant by sharing of capacitors? Sharing of capacitors basically mean, see, when you are having two conductors, you are having two capacitors, let's say, and you have connected both of them. So what happens? Charges flow through them. So what happens in one of it? There, in one of it. Let's say they, these are the two uh, conductors which you are having, two capacitors which you are having. So one will be having a higher value of capacitance, another one will be having a little lower value of capacitance. So charges flow from the higher one to the lower one till the time both have the same value of potential. See, right now let us say it must be having a different value of potential. This is having V one, this is having V two. Two different values of potentials must be there. See, when you are when the charges are moving when the charges are moving what will happen one is at the higher potential let's say v1 is at the higher potential v2 is at the lower potential so some of the charges will travel from v1 to v2 right the charges will travel from v1 to v2 so what will till, will till when will the charges will travel till the time both these values of potential become same this is what is meant by sharing of capacitors i am repeating just listen uh, carefully two capacitors are there fine one capacitor is having a higher potential let's say this is having a higher potential this is having a lesser value of potential so see 
the charges will flow from higher potential to the lower potential till the time both have achieved the now achieved this common potential so let's say this was at higher one this was at lower one charges had flown 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 as soon as both the charges became equal we get the common potential so this potential which is now the same for both of it this is what we call as the common potential all right this is what is known as the common potential so charges flow until the time both the potentials become equal so now this is just for general conductors if you have two conductors in nature this is for them suppose uh, uh, two capacitors are connected this is capacitor 1 with capacitance c1 potential v1 capacitance capacitor 2 with capacitance c2 potential v2 now sharing means you are connecting them you can connect them directly you connect them with the help of wires charges by conduction methods of conduction also we have studied in the first lesson so see one capacitor is there c1 v1 another capacitor is there c2 v2 this is all the these are all the cases before sharing means right now the capacitors have not been connected so you have everything individually individual values of everything you have right if i ask you what is the value of charge on this on the first one if capacitance is c1 potential is v1 yes austin what should be the value of q1 uh it will be c1 into v1 c1 into v1 very good charges formalize c into v so q1 will be equal to c1 into v1 q2 huma can you tell me what would be q2 c2 into v2 yes c2 into v2 right now let's say let's even talk about energies initial energy so let's go with this half c v square formula so half c1 v1 square and u2 will become half c2 v2 whole square this is all i hope all of you agree with this this is before sharing now let's say with the help of wire means of wire we have connected both the capacitors right so let's say here i have connected both the capacitors now charges must have flown whichever had the lesser value of potential now it will go to the value of potential which is having the higher one right till the time what we have discussed till the time both attain a same potential common potential is achieved by both of them so after sharing what would happen they will attain a common potential this value we are considering it as the common potential capital v i so now charge now this is the final charge let's say q1 dash i am writing q1 dash this is the final charge yes tarif can you tell me tarif what should be the value of charge now c1 c2 c1 into capital this would be c1 into capital v and q2 prime would become c2 into capital v earlier what was the difference both were having different values of potential now since a common potential has been achieved that's why we are having two separate values of charges see energy new energy will also will become this will also become half c1 v square for second capacitor also this would become half c2 v square a common potential has been achieved right so this is the case before sharing this is the case after sharing so on connecting the capacitors charge flows from one at higher potential to lower potential until they acquire the same potential this is what you have to remember in case of all of these understood when two capacitors are connected charges flow from the higher to the lower till the time they acquire the same potential mm -hmm. until and unless common potential is achieved all right now see but one thing will happen just tell me class one thing if i have uh, let's say here i am having something some quantity i am having let's say uh, just take an a random example you can take let's say i am having five toffees over here and here i am having three toffees fine so suppose or let's say let me write it. okay three let's just take this example just tell me one thing if i move one toffee from here to here 
if I'm shifting it. Now what will happen? I'm taking one from fifth, it will become four. I am putting this into third, this will also become four. Same amount of toffees has been acquired now. This is what happens when you are sharing the capacitors or two conductors also. One is having the higher potential, another one is having the lower potential. Charges move from the higher to lower till the time they acquire the same potential. Class, tell me one thing. Total amount of charge initially before sharing, when I had not connected both of these, these were eight, five plus three is eight. Now after sharing, can you see four plus four is also eight? It means charges have just moved their places, right? From one body to another, the charges have just traveled. They have just moved, right? The charges have just moved. The charges have not lost anywhere. It means whatever was the initial number of charges is now the final number of charges, right? So this same thing you can consider for the charges in the capacitors also. Whatever amount of charges were there before sharing, after they have been connected, after a common potential has been achieved, the same thing can happen. It means charges before sharing is equal to all the amount of charges after sharing. Fine. So what was the amount of charges before sharing? Look here. We had discussed Q1 plus Q2. This is the case before sharing. This we had seen. So before sharing, this is C1, uh, Q1 plus Q2. So before sharing, this is Q1 plus Q2. It's a very small derivation. Usually this is uh, asked in your theory paper till here only more than loss of energy. So just, but this is very easy. You will be able to manage. And this is the case after sharing. So Q1 prime and Q2 prime, these are the new charges after sharing. So what are the charges after sharing? Q1 prime plus Q2 prime. What was the value of Q1? You all have only answered. Remember, Austin had answered this. Humam has answered Q2. So all of you had agreed with me. It means I can put the value of Q1 as C1 V1, Q2 as C2 V2. And what can I write about Q1 prime? C1 V. Remember the same potential that has been achieved. Plus C2 V, the same potential that has been achieved. Now see, can I take V common from here? I'm left with C1 plus C2. And here I'm left with C1 V1 plus C2 V2. What is the value of the potential? C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. This is the value of potential that has been achieved. And we call this as the common potential. This is known as the common potential. This is the formula you use C1V1 plus C2V2 divided by C1 plus C2. This is the formula of common potential that you use. All right. So sometimes in the questions, this is asked to write the derivation of common potential. So the derivation is not as such a lengthy or a different derivation. It's basically conservation of charges. Whatever was the amount of charges that were present initially, is the amount of charges that are present after sharing. This is what you have to remember. This is basic derivation you can construct. And see class, here now values are also given simple. Simple. I'll show you a question also based on loss of energy and this. Before we see the loss of energy, uh, just write down till common potential.
see class regarding the loss of energy so uh, loss of energy basically means you have certain value of initial energy you have certain value of final energy so the difference between initial and final energy this is what is loss in energy that's how you calculate so here also we'll be calculating it in the same manner i hope you have written it till here all of you or is anybody writing written fine let me know if anyone wants to write up so loss of energy is the initial energy minus final energy now see why are we not taking final minus initial because we are calculating the loss we are not calculating the change in energy all right whenever you are cal calculating the loss in anything you take initial minus final that's also why you get your answers in negative and negative answers usually mark out the fact that there is a loss in energy otherwise how would you conclude the fact whether there is a loss of energy or gain in energy with just the value of change in energy right so we take the change in energy but initial minus final that is loss in energy so see initial was half c1 v1 square plus half c2 v2 square this was the total initial energies that we had remember this was the first this was the second so u1 plus u2 is initial that is before sharing half c1 v1 square plus half c2 v2 square and minus now final one half c1 we have the common potential v square right plus half c2 common potential v square remember here we i hope you all have written this so this was the initial final energy not initial means the energy after sharing and this is the energy uh, this is also the energy after sharing for second capacitor so this is this total is your now energy after sharing so we have the energies now you just need to solve these just simply solve if you remember this fact no you will be able to derive it in the exam only it just that this involves a lot of i think four quantities are present that's why it's just a little lengthy calculation otherwise this is not difficult to solve so uh, let's open up the brackets then this becomes half c1 v1 square plus half c2 v2 square uh, one thing we can do common half v square we can take common so that we are left with half c1 plus c2 this also you can do now value of common potential what is the value of common potential we have obtained the value of common potential so common potential is c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 this is the value of common potential that we have obtained so see just put the value of common potential here what will you obtain you will obtain c1 v1 square into c1 plus c2 all right this is actually after taking the lcm let me rewrite this this will be half c1 v1 square plus half c2 v2 square minus c half c1 plus c2 this is left now i'll write v square this is this is not v1 this is v if this v is the common potential what would be v square c understood till here class half c1 v1 square plus half c2 v2 square minus half c1 plus c2 i've written till here now i have to write this common potential that is v square so v is c1 v1 plus c2 v2 by c1 plus c c2 so what would i do i'll square this entire term i will square this entire term this is what i have right class now see one thing this with the square of this let me write this separately let me write both the squares separately this is getting square and this is also having a square so this this quantity with the square of it will get cancelled now you are left with all these terms we just have to simplify so best method is if we take the lcm what would be the lcm here we are having 2 here we are having c1 plus c2 so the best way to take out the lcm is 2 c1 plus c2 is the lcm so multiply every term by c1 plus c2 and here you multiply it by c1 v1 plus c2 v2 to the power whole square this i haven't changed right now all right class now see 
C1 square plus V1 square plus C1, C2, V1 square. How have I obtained this? I'm just multiplying. First, tell me, is it clear till this step? Because this is the main step. After this, you will be able to simplify. I'll, I'm repeating it till here. Look, class. Initial energy plus final energy. I have taken common potential common and I have put in the value of common potential, which I had already obtained. So this is the final equation that I have. 1 C1 plus C2 is getting cancelled with the square of this C1 plus C2. Right? The square is one quantity is getting cancelled. If you have x here and x square in the denominator, x will cancel the square. Similarly, this C1 plus C2 is cancelling out this. Till here, I hope it's clear. First, tell me. Till this step, it's clear to all of you? Yes, Fine. Now, see, here what I have done, just look at the denominators. Here you have only two. Here you have only two. Here you have only two. Here you have C1 plus C2. The best way here to solve this is here you are just having two. Here you are just having two. Just look at the denominators for, the, for those who are having confusion with the LCM part. Here you are having two C1 into C2, right? This is the denominator's case. Here you are having two. Here you are having two. And here you are having two C1 plus C2. If I give you such a question, what would you do? The LCM would become 2C1 into C2. That is C1 plus C2 here also, C1 plus C2 here also. Then only you know, it would be the lowest common multiple. So we have to multiply it here also to obtain it. The way you calculate the normal LCM, normal LCM values, the way you have been obtaining it. Similarly. All right. So once this is obtained, this is the LCM after taking LCM. Now I'm just multiplying this within the brackets. Look here. C1 into this. So that becomes C1 square V1 square plus. Now I'm multiplying this term with this. That is V1 square into C1 C2 V1 square. Just this term getting multiplied by this entire term. Plus again I'll multiply this and again I'll multiply this. Fine. Now minus C1 plus C1 V1 plus C2 V2 whole square. Can we take this as A and this as B? So that becomes A plus B whole square. What is this identity A plus B whole square? A square plus B square plus 2 Perfect. A square plus B square plus 2AB. This is the identity. But since we are having a minus sign, so this becomes minus A square. Minus B square minus two. This is because of that negative sign. Fine. Now, uh, what are we left with? See, things will cancel out here. Let us see. C1, V1 square. Here we are getting minus C1, V1 square. This will get cancelled out. Uh, anything else? Yes. This is also getting cancelled. C2 square, V2 square. Minus C2 square, V2 square. This is also getting cancelled. Anything else? No, I don't think so. These are just getting cancelled. Or anything else do you see? Mm -hmm. Only these are getting cancelled, right? So see, what are we left with? C1, C2, V1 square plus C1, C2, V2 square minus C1, C2. This I'll show you. This is the entire V square, V2 square, V1 into V2. Now class, I have just taken C1, C2 common. So from here, what is left? If I take C1, C2 common, because that is present everywhere, from here, V1 square is left. V1 square, from here, plus V2 square is left, minus, see, C1, C2 I have taken common. So, 2 V1 into V2. These are left, right? So, we are obtaining this. I am again repeating. C1, C2 I have taken common. So, V1 square is left, plus V2 square from here, minus 2 into v1 v2 these are left if i take c1 c2 common now see you have almost obtained the final answer to this c1 c2 into v1 square plus v2 square minus 2 v1 v2 is left can anyone tell me is it forming any sort of identity now after all this this part yes, yes Shavi. which identity yes, 
a minus b whole square. Good. See, a plus b uh, whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. A minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. If my a is v1 square and b is v2 square, this is a, this is b, right? So I can use this identity. It means I can write this as V1 minus V2 whole square. This entire bracket, I can write it as V1 minus V2 whole square. And what all things are left? C1, C2 divided by 2, C1 plus C2. That is exactly the formula which we have already, which we have obtained for energy. So this is the loss in energy when two capacitors are shared. This means what? It means if you connect two capacitors in series, parallel, that is not of your concern. You just remember if you have connected two capacitors. Let me repeat all this so that once it becomes clear, so, and then you can note it down. Don't write it right now. I'll give you sufficient time. And when I'm speaking, please don't write at that particular time, especially. Sharing of capacitors is what I'm repeating. Please pay attention to it, class. I'll give you sufficient time to note this down. So sharing of capacitors is mainly you have two conductors. You have two capacitors. One is having higher potential. Another one is having lower potential. Fine. Please listen to it carefully, class. Now, the charges will flow from the higher one and the lower one will gain those charges till the time both acquire the same potential the charges will keep on flowing. This is what is the principle of sharing of capacitors, the basics of sharing of capacitors because questions are based upon this. Clear? Then, initial charges C1, V1, final charges C2, V2, initial energy is half C1, V1 square, final energy is half C2, V2 square. Now, after sharing of capacitors, once the charges have been shared, it means charges have moved, we have the same formulas with just a common potential that is V. V is the common potential that we have chosen. So since charges amount is remaining the same, it's all about conservation of charges. So initial charges are equal to final charges. So common potential becomes C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. First, tell me, I'm asking all of you this. Till here, till common potential, is it clear to all of you? Or should I repeat once more? And this is the potential after sharing. Yeah, rate. Chavez. This is the potential after sharing. Rate. Yes, Chavez is asking something. This one, this common potential is the potential after sharing of the capacitor. Common potential. Common potential is of the system. Common potential. If this is the capacitor, these are the capacitors. No. So for individual capacitors, the potential has been not. This is what is the common potential. This is your, what you're asking? Oh, I understand. Okay. Now note it from here. Then I'll repeat this part as well. Note it from the loss in energy.
Uh, yes, yes, no need to learn this derivation. Learn, uh, that's what I was saying. Learn this, this common potential is usually asked. If it is asked, no, something from here, common potential is asked. Loss in energy, this I have made you write because if I just directly write down this formula, no, then it would be difficult for you to understand how have we obtained this. So just remember this formula, just go through the derivation. That's why I'm saying just in case if it is comes even even your exam in your exam no so you should know the step initial energy minus final energy putting the value of common potential and then just solving it mathematically you will obtain this formula otherwise till common potential learn the derivation from here you should just remember the formula questions are asked like this only simple questions are asked see this question also says that a capacitor of 10 picofarad is charged to a potential difference of 20 volt. This is connected to an identical but uncharged capacitor C2. Identical but uncharged capacitor C2, you have to calculate the common potential and you have to find out the loss in energy also on sharing. Right? See, when this says no, capacitor 1, value of capacitor 1 is 10 pico farad so uh, pico means 10 to the power minus 12 so this becomes 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad fine pico means 10 to the power minus 12 i hope all of you know these conversions because in your exam these will be given 10 pico farad 10 micro farad 10 nano farad like this all these will be given so c1 is 10 pico farad which is 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 and what is uh, c2 it is saying identical so if it is identical means c2 is also 10 pico farad that is 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad yeah yes uh, huma what is one pico farad uh, sorry ma'am what is one pico farad how much how will you convert it into farad Yes, ma'am. Don't know, ma'am. How did I convert here 10 picofarad? Uh, 10 into minus 12. Sorry. 10 to the power minus 12. All right. Now, yes, please sir. remember this 10 to the power minus 12. All right. Now, this is C1, 10 picofarad. C2 is 10 picofarad. Now, V1. V1 is given 20 volt. And V2, what is V2? It is seeing uncharged. So your pot potential automatically this becomes zero. So see, information about the second, second capacitor is not given directly. It is given to you in one sentence, identical but uncharged. Means C2 is exactly equal to C1 in magnitude and V2 is zero. Now common potential, all of you, you should be able to solve it. Of value formula of common potential is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. So C1 is 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 20 plus C2 is 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 0. V2 is 0. What is C1? 10 into 10 to the power minus uh, 12. This is V2 is equal to zero because this is uncharged. When uncharged capacitor, when the capacitor is having no value of charge, no charge is present, then potential doesn't get generated. Fine, potential is present in your capacitor because of presence of charges only. That's why no, if higher amount of charges were present, potential was higher. If lower amount of charges are present, you have lesser value of potential. So that's why. Clear? Yeah? Is it clear, Shahid? It's not. All right. So, uh, yes, 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 plus 10 into 10 to the power minus 12. This term would auto automatically become zero from here, 10 to the power minus 12, 10 to the, let us write it as 10 to the power minus 11 only. 10 to the power minus 11 into 20 divided by, this is zero, so I'm not writing it. This is 2 into 10 to the power minus 11, right? Doubling of it. So this gets cancelled. 
put common potential becomes 10 volt this is the common potential answer to the first part second formula if an exam you come it comes it will come in this way only loss in energy so second part second part is loss in energy so formula of loss of energy is c1 c2 v1 minus v2 whole square divided by 2 c1 plus c2 so all these values you just have to put in in here 10 to the power minus 11 into 10 to the power minus 11 uh, one is 20 another is zero itself square divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 11 plus 10 to the power minus 11. I hope you all know why am I writing 10 to the power minus 11. This is actually 10 into 10 to the power minus 12. 10 picofarad. Right class. So what will this become? This is 420 whole square. Uh, this becomes 10 to the power minus 22 divided by 2 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 11. This is getting doubled. So, 2 into 200, this is 100, and again 11. So, 2, that becomes 9, 10 to the power minus 9 joules. This is the loss of energy. Fine. Note down this. That completes with sharing of capacitors. Now, the last topic of your syllabus is left, of this lesson is left. Okay. That is series and parallel connection of capacitors. Uh, Rabia is present today, Rabia. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Rabia, you are having in your exam three lessons, no? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Madiha and Faiza are absent today. I wanted to discuss the class timings with all of you. Ma'am. Yes, Chavez? Each stone bridge is coming. Hmm? Each stone bridge is coming. Your voice is coming very low. Can you type Chavez, please? Wheatstone bridge is not a part of your syllabus now. Wheatstone bridge is not coming. Potentiometer, Wheatstone bridge, meter bridge, all these are not coming. But we'll have a look on Wheatstone bridge because sometimes, no, Asha ways, uh, few questions from series and parallel, from resistors and as well as from capacitors. They are arranged in a Wheatstone bridge manner so that we'll just have a look at that. But meter bridge, potentiometers, all these portions you don't need to see. Tarif, what is the syllabus? Syllabus with date. Please text me. Okay. Three lessons. Austin, date? Uh, somewhere next week. Uh, I'm sure second in time. All right. So first three lessons to, okay. Current electricity is extra for you as well, no? Tomorrow, uh, do you people have your regular classes here uh, the, uh, around this timing, 4 o'clock? Yes, Austin, Rabia, all those who are having their tests next week. No, I'm not chemistry, You are having, Austin, you are having chemistry. Yes, ma'am. Uh, are you all people going to school also? School is also going on regularly. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, but I'm not going tomorrow. You're not going tomorrow. Austin, what about you? Are you going to school tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Uh, exam is on 14th, electric field and potential, electrostats, current electricity, nuclei and moving charges. 
nuclear from your second book tarif yes miss i thought that uh, because it's a short chapter third chapter is still current electricity nuclear and moving charges moving charges this is your fourth lesson nuclear is from your yes, second yes. book i um, i think you are trying to mention first four lessons no no miss nuclear is also there okay nuclear is also there so randomly in your school nuclear has been covered Um, atoms what the teacher said lesson? that uh, because the chapter is short so we we could acha 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 so uh, uh, atoms and anything else has been done from second book no i'm just only this chapter only this lesson so uh, first four plus nuclear right yes miss okay see on saturday i'll take all of your class for the lessons that we have done till now that is first and second lessons because these two at least should be perfect by all of you but i want to take your classes for current electricity together because most of you are having current electricity i think pfizer isn't having so anybody uh, tomorrow friday austin friday you people are having off no at your places austin No, I have school, but it's half day. So it's fine. It's half day. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So, what are the timings, Austin? When you return back, I when come home. When you start the class on Friday, you just suggest the timing. Uh, I come home at like twelve thirty UAE time. I think that's uh two Indian time. I think. Two uh, IS two PM around two two thirty. Let's have the class then. Two thirty IST. Is it fine on Friday for current electricity? Yes, ma'am. Fine by others also, Rabia. Yes, ma'am. That Chik? time I heard you know. Yes, Tari. That time in your ATM, I'll be having my Juma. You're not available at that time. Yes, ma'am. So. Any other timing on Friday? You say, Tarif. Uh, three thirty IST. How much? Uh, three thirty IST. Three thirty IST. Fine, fine. That's not a big issue. One hour I can delay. Three thirty IST is fine by at least three of you who are present today. I'll talk to Madhya and Faiza. Yes, ma'am. ठीक है. So current electricity I'll take then.
सर इफ दैट इज टेन टू दवार माइनस टेन इंटू टेन टू दवार माइनस ट्वेल्व नो टेन पीको फैरेड सो हाउ कैन आई हाउ कैन यू राइट दिस टेन इंटू टेन टू दवार माइनस इलेवन टेन इंटू टेन टू दवार माइनस ट्वेल्व दिस यू कैन राइट इट एज टेन टू दवार माइनस इलेवन दैट्स ओनली वट आई रिटर्न फाइन just to ease the calculation written all of you this is a very important topic and very important from your uh, examination point of view also when your as well as if in your uh, mcqs also the first objective questions which are asked these can be asked from this see if you are having two parallel plates fine two parallel plates are kept and air is filled between the plates separation between the plates is d and this is connected to a potential the potential difference is v not this is the case what all things we have already studied capacitance of the plate this would be a revision also this part see capacitance of the plate for air this is going to be epsilon not a divided by d right all of you agree till here we have studied this now what happens to the charge if capacitance is c not potential is v not the charge becomes c in c not v not right potential difference is v not and what is electric field electric field is always gradient of potential that is potential getting divided by distance v not divided by d these four things are very basics all of you should know this and by now if anybody is not remembering any of these formula especially capacitance and the first and fourth one please remember it these are very basics now this is when this is the general case suppose we are studying when the battery is getting connected if you are if you have connected a battery and dielectric slab has been filled earlier what was the case that we took when air was filled between the slabs now what is happening now dielectric slab has been filled between the plates so what happened as i was discussing in the initial portion of the class also that when a dielectric slab gets inserted capacitance increases to k times so not only you should remember just the formula that capacitance is k epsilon not a by d as well as you should remember the fact that capacitance is increasing because questions are like this battery remains connected and space is filled with dielectric constant which quantity remains the same which quantity increases so capacitance will increase remember this fact why because this becomes k c not so it will increase what happens to the charge since capacitance is increasing and the formula in involves cv so charge will also increase now the charge that is present this is cv right this is cv not actually so capacitance is k times c not so charge will also increase two quantities will increase now the quantity which is the most important out of all these which you have to remember and your capacitance is of the c not right is this yes here capacitance is also c not right capacitance is c not capacitance is c not in air fine capacitance is c not in air this is in this is without air this is when dielectric constant has been placed right dielectric medium has been placed so this capacitance increases charge okay. increases this is the most important which you should remember which quantity remains the same potential doesn't change when your battery is still connected in your circuit with the with dielectric slab all right class this if you remember because this portion becomes confusing you will see how and see electric field is v not divided by d so what is potential potential is remaining the same so electric field will also remain the same so if battery remains connected and the space is filled with a dielectric slab or a dielectric constant dielectric medium is kept between the capacitor plates right air is not filled capacitor plates are filled with dielectric slab capacitance increases by k times charge increases by k times potential remains the same and electric field remains the same whereas if this is the case of dist connection your slab is filled with dielectric right dielectric medium but battery is disconnected to the circuit now what will happen just remember these you will find it especially students who have to appear for their entrances also as well as for your board exam questions also these this this is the most important topic because without this your numericals will also fail 
So capacitance will still increase if dielectric slab has been inserted. Dielectric medium is present. In any ways, capacitance will increase. It will become K times, right? What happens to the charges? Charges remain the same here. So this becomes important here. Potential remained constant where? Potential remain. This is you which you have to remember because since we know capacitance gets involved, but still here the charge doesn't increase. Charge remains the same, and this is all of these are done experimentally. No, yes. And there is no potential, so how there is capacitance? Potential is there. Potential is there. Potential is getting decreased. Potential gets decreased by k times. And electric field, and since potential is getting decreased by k times, electric field also decreases by k times. But see, these two quantities decrease, capacitance increases, and charge remains constant. Whereas in the previous case, potential was remaining constant because of which electric field remained constant. See, these two will go hand in hand. Because there is no dependency of other quantity. In charges, we have other quantities also. Charge is not merely present or is not just present in because of the formula Q is equal to CV. We have seen charges present so many times in different ways. Charges are intrinsic quantity. This doesn't need to depend upon potential. This doesn't depend upon your capacitance. So charge remain constant. This, this is all done experimentally where battery was connected, battery was disconnected, space was filled, space was removed. So on an average, this was the conclusion that was received. That capacitance, capacitance becomes, in, capacitance increases in both the cases. This that you, this you can remember, capacitance increases in both the cases. But when battery is connected, potential remains same, battery disconnected charge remains same that's it see for the for this case you should remember that charge what is potential's formula q by c if capacitance is becoming k times so potential is getting decreased by k times similarly if potential is getting decreased by k times electric field is depending upon potential so electric field will also decrease k time so these are just theory points which you should remember but out of these this third point from here and the second point from here these are very important and they will be asked to you in the exam so from here quickly note it down this won't take time just note it quickly and any doubts you have, you can ask. I think Shabez, you were asking this only. No? If you are asking something else, also you can type. If your doubt has not been clarified, because your voice comes very low, so I think if I'm, it can happen that I hear something else which you are asking. So let me know in the chat column, Shabez. Yeah.
Uh, in second case, if capacity increases, shouldn't Q increase? Uh, yes, or since that, that's what I was telling you. See, charges do not just depend upon capacitance or potential. Though from the formula, this is clear that Q is equal to CV. Mathematically, it should have happened. That charge should have also increased. But see, when the battery is disconnected, no. If the wires to the battery are disconnected, then charge remains on the plates on these capacitor plates, all right? Yes. So what happens, these charges remain, they stick up here only to these capacitors plates, all right? And what happens to the battery, they, it gets disconnected. This is what is the case. That's why in the second case, the same thing happens. Uh, class, uh, some uh, all of you should at least, uh, I wanted to take a quick revision class for all the portion that have been completed. And I wanted to complete this part also, uh, capacitors part, because otherwise your syllabus will lag behind. Uh, sharing of capacitors is completed. One last, that a series and parallel connection is left. So on Saturday, uh, 3.30, same timing, 3.30 p.m. IST, Saturday. Is it fine by all of you or any other engagement? Fine. Fine, I think Saturday, 3.30, we'll have the class so that capacitance, this electrostats portion gets over because minimum these two lessons are coming. And I'll take revision also on that day, some portions of it. So 3.30, I hope it's fine by all of you. You have maths class on Saturday. Uh, same timing, Shahid. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, but four. Uh, yes, Shahid, your timings for maths class? Uh, it starts on 4. 4.30 IST? Or 4 IST. 4 IST. Okay, so 4 IST if it starts. Then uh, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. IST, is it fine? Shahid, if we have no. the class at 2? That's fine. Fine. Then 2 p.m. we'll have the class on Saturday. That this is not an extra class. This is not a revision class. This is your proper batches class. I want to start with series and parallel because... If I'll take in your batch only, less questions will be covered. If I take one extra class on Saturday, more amount of questions we can discuss. Because in, uh, if we discuss it here you know, in detail, then we'll not be having any difficulty with registers. Because in current electricity, same thing comes, series and pattern with just a different formula.
see class remember whenever it is written no uncharged capacitor automatically equate its second potential as zero fine equate its potential as zero Text me done class in the chat column once you have written till here. All right, class, and I think most of you have written it. Uh, so, class, we'll all those who want to take up uh, an extra class of current electricity, where I'll just discuss the things which are essential for your uh, board exam. Then on Friday we'll have the class three thirty IST. Please, according to your states, convert it. I think two and a half hours before or one and a half hours prior to the timing. So three thirty we'll have on Friday current electricity's class. For magnetics and other, if any uh, other lesson is coming that I'll discuss on Friday with you. But our regular class now, instead of uh, we'll have the class on Monday, but before Monday we'll have the class on Saturday. It won't be a very long class because other students have their classes as well. So 2 p.m. IST, all of you should join. But only students who want to study current electricity for from their examination perspective, you people only join. All right, you people only join on uh, uh, Friday. I am writing Friday is for current electricity. Fine. And this is Saturday, your regular class time. So this you have to join. Everyone should join. And Friday, this is just for the students who are having their exam. I'll share one note link also, notes also of current electricity with you. I'll share the uh, playlists also with you of current electricity. Apart from that, we'll have the class also so that at least your test can be managed but those who are not having current electricity in their syllabus please do not join on friday because we'll in any way start with current electricity afterwards all right class now i think your class assessment will start thank you so much uh, 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 yes. here the potential uh, difference is the difference of the battery like battery is potential yes yes the battery is potential here this week Battery is no, it's not more, more than batteries, it is actually of capacitors, but the potential from battery is actually getting distributed over there. Fine. So it's the potential of capacitor. This is potential of capacitor. This is actually the potential of capacitor. But uh, see, 